Here we are then on the grid. We can see Caden McQueen on the pole spot. Put his car in the wrong position there slightly, so he was moving that across. I want to catch up with the croc driver of Fred Green. Fred, we saw your younger brother take a huge win uh, earlier on. Do you think you can replicate what he did? Uh, yeah, I'd love to win it by uh, seven seconds, but I don't think it'd be quite that easy. But yeah, uh, hopefully we can win it and uh, yeah. And then have you got anything in mind that you're going to try and, you know, any tactics, anything you're expecting to happen in the race or just taking it as it comes? Uh, yeah, not at all. Um, just the basics really, just try and stay at the front and then um, just do your best, yeah, enjoy it. Well, best of luck to you. I'm going to head over then to number three, which is Hair Force One of Harry Platten, the BMR car. Um, Harry retired a couple of years ago, but has come back as a one-off. Harry, you've won the GP plate multiple times. It's a massive achievement within karting. What would it mean to you to win a third? Oh, it would mean, mean quite a lot, considering how much of a tough weekend this has been. Um, but it's not over yet. We've still got another 20 minutes till we see the final result, but I'm going to go full guns blazing. And it might be a question then for you in 20 minutes' time, but if you can win a third GP plate this weekend, do you reckon you might come out of retirement? I think I'd probably end it there, to be honest. <laughs> Good luck then, Harry. We've got Keen Geraghty starting alongside Harry, the number 73, sporting the Geraghty Motorsport graphics. Obviously, that's his own team, the 73. Keen, we saw a big crash uh, yesterday. How have you bounced back for that one, and are you feeling confident? Uh, yeah, we've been quick all week in the X30. I uh, didn't drive the best pre finals, but I'm still here. So, yeah, I'm a threat for the final. Threat for the final, indeed. Board has gone up then, uh, bell has rung, and for the final time will be Senior X30. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Cartmania is back for 2024 on November the 30th and December the 1st at Silverstone. This is where everyone in karting can come and find out about teams, about championships, decide where you want to race in the new season. There is every expert in the field of karting, both on the chassis, the engines and the clubs. The Associated British Kart Clubs are there to help guide you into this sport. And also the Kart Boot Sale, where you can sell all your second-hand cart parts and if you're new to the sport you can pick yourself a bargain up from the experts themselves that is november and december but this in 12th and 15th of september 2024 the fia world karting championship returns to pfi for the first time since 2017 please come along and watch as we crown some world champions thank you for bringing us through those adverts henry we have the final british car grand prix race of 2024 coming up and no less than senior x30 it is we've had some brilliant brilliant racing in senior x30 this is the grid pole position is Caden mcqueen for chaos sport fred green for crop promotions in second third is harry platten for bmr third fourth Privateer, Geraghty Racing for Keen Geraghty. Fifth, Henry Gregory for Vismo International. Sixth, Macaulay Bishop for Premium Karting. Seventh is Oliver Stilt for Crop Promotion. And eighth, Jack Nettleship as a Privateer on the TB Kart. On row number five, Monaco's Oscar Rapetto and Alistair Presswell. Gabriel Stilt and Marcus Luzio on row six. Christopher Bingham and Lewis Bird row seven. South Korea's Kuyo Lee and Harry Cottrell on row number eight. Row number nine has Ellis Stevens for the Jade Racing Team, Luke Taylor for Premium on, on the 18th, 19th Ty Magia for Prop Promotion, 20th Isaac Marsh for TWM, 21st Freddie Howley as a privateer, 22nd Jack Cox for Jack Dex Racing, 23rd Joel Hull for TWM and 24th Louis Johnston Cool for Premium Karting. Outside the top 12, it's 12 rows, the grid, Tiger Dixon and Dayton Coulthard, Charlie Morrison-Jones and Tristan Powell, Morgan Hill and Evan Spanswick. Defending champion Gus Lawrence starts 31st after an incident in the pre-final with Ryland Eshberg, privateer driver, out as well in 32nd. Aaron Brown, CJ Bennett, and sadly, Rashan Chikorimbo has not made the start. We are joined. Well, I tell you what, this class began in 
2015. Mark Litchfield was the first winner. Ben Barnacote won it in 2015. And that race in 2015, this race was the race where Ben Barnacote became the first ever driver to complete the double. And Ben Barnacote went on to win this for the next three years. But we did because Danny Curl won it in uh, 2016. Then Barnacote in 2017, 18, 19. Hodgson, Platten two times in a row, Gus Lawrence last year, and we are joined on the online chat by Mr. Cartmaster himself, Ben Barnacote, oh. is racing out in Road America. Good to have you on board, Ben. I know that uh, this place, this place, the circuit, this event is very close to your heart, and we hope to see you all, we all hope to see you soon. Good luck this evening. Race number 57, the 57th and final race of Cartmasters 2024 is underway. And Caden McQueen leads a capacity grid of senior X30s under the Bruno Ferrari S's, under the bridge, out into the bowl and through turns three and four. Three wide off the bridge. They scatter like cockroaches when you turn the light on all across the track. Somebody asked, is that David Coulthard son Dayton in the Scottish Cross Helmet? Yes, it is. Good start from Caden McQueen. A small gap ahead of Harry Platten. And right there is Henry Gregory in the PF plate, who's made his way past Green. Of course, that is Fred Green. There's a lot of Greens races. Go, oh, no, Lewis Bird has gone off on the exit of the second hairpin, but joined back on. And Dayton Coulthard has yes. also dropped to the oh, back of the field. Shaking his head, Dayton Coulthard. Uh, the Dave Boyce run right chassis and uh, Gus Lawrence. There he is, the PF, uh, the PF international driver, uh, the number one plate car. Ryan Eschberg is also following him up the order as well. A good start from Jack and Nettleship. I forgot the only other driver to ever do the double here at Kart Masters. Noah Wolf is also watching as well. Well. You'll both, Mr. Barnacle, Mr. Wolf, you'll both be pleased to know that nobody will do the double here today. This is the last race. Uh, Harry Platten might become a three-time Cartmasters champion. Air Force One leading the way. Uh, and that could be, well, three out of four years for Platten in this class. Big movers so far. Louis Johnson cool up to 15th, up nine places, and up 11 places to 18th Morgan Hill, and then most, most of the rest of the field only up or down a couple of positions. Welcome to the nearly 1,600 people watching this as we speak. Here Force One, Harry Platten leads Caden McQueen, leads Fred Green, leads Oliver Stilp, the cousin of Gabriel Stilp, leads Kean Garrity on that private team. It's a Garrity racing cart. Oh, oh, this could be McQueen. out. Of, what a move. We have move of the weekend so far, Slim in my opinion. Shady number one from Caden McQueen. Round the outside, round the outside. Many, many have tried that move today even. None of whom have been successful anywhere near the front of the field. Caden McQueen absolutely sent it around the outside. Brilliant, brilliant manoeuvre. Could that move be decisive and take him his first Grand Prix victory? He's got a good gap ahead of Green, who's just passed Platten as well. I think Caden McQueen has finished second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth in his Cartmaster's career. He has finished nearly everywhere in the top ten, apart from... <laughs> First, that Nathan Perkins to Chow. Chow. And this is where <laughs> Noah Wolf points out that he did pass two drivers around the outside going into the bowl a couple of years ago. But that was in a minimax. This was in a full blooded senior X30. Right, let's have a look. Here we go, right, so Caden commits early to the outside, knows Platten's defending, squeezes Platten down to the apex, gets it stopped, and on the power early, which is the, the he, decisive move. He did the move and pulled a gap. Boom. That was a full slim shady and fast forward. Right. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye on this number 11 car of Gabriel Stilp. Yes. His pace was electric in yes. the pre fun He got spun at the start yes. and made his way back, back up, up to... to... Uh, ah, there was a penalty involved. He was 11th. 11th. Well, he was higher than 11th. But he was third or fourth. Ah, uh, something stupid like that, because that, yes. uh, that was definitely the drive of the pre-final. Let's have a look back. Gus Lawrence is already... Uh, uh, yeah. Gus Lawrence is already up 13 places to 18th. He's not out of it yet uh, either. Uh, already passing Macaulay Bishop, who I believe is somewhat chastened after his senior Rotax uh, 
escapades. Let's concentrate on Senior X30, which where this number one play... Oh, Lawrence oh. looks up the inside. Johnson Cool. Johnson Cool says, no, sir, I don't know, don't care what number is on your go-kart. I am keeping uh, this position. Oscar Rapetto from Monaco is in the top ten for the Jade Racing team, who have already won a GP plate today in uh, Water Swift Restricted yes. with Alessandro Salas. Uh, Gus Lawrence goes past Christopher Bingham with a very smart-looking S8 racing cart. I uh, hope that uh, uh, George Mayall uh, uh, Mayal is OK. Uh, and uh, Fred Green has caught Caden McQueen. There are now two Crocs snapping at McQueen's heels. They were still, hang on, still up eight places to third. How? I feel like I missed how that happened. Well, he drove past them all like yeah, it does. I, yes. I, I, I saw there's the... Oscar Rappel, oh, there's Kuhio Lee yeah. in car number 2-2-2. Two, two, two. On, on the first lap, I saw um, Gabriel Stilt go up the inside over the kerb, onto, oh, off the bridge, on. move the lead, Fred Green goes inside, and he lost about three places on the exit. And Hello, somehow... Stilt! Oh, it was almost... <laughs> Uh, never smile at a crocodile because they might take chunks out of each other. Yes. Uh, Still Platten. is Where's definitely... Harry Platten gone? Harry Platten's dropped to eighth. Oh, yeah, yeah. maybe what? that was why... Well, he's was, he was got his phone up trying to film Kayla McQueen's uh, absolutely Euro move, maybe, I think. Maybe that was why Gabriel... Maybe Gabriel still made it a robust move on Platten. Anyway, we haven't seen it, doesn't matter. We're going to continue on with this race, and it is Stilt that now leads ahead of McQueen, and now Green takes second place. And up into fourth comes Kean Garrity. There he is, the privateer, or, well, I suppose technically not, because it's his own team, but it's only a small team with him and his dad and a couple of others. So Garrity had definitely been on form in this Senior X30 class, not had the luck with Strawberry Racing in Senior Rotax, but he's been there or thereabouts. Fastest lap of the race from number one, a yes. GP plate holder in this category, Gus Lawrence, a 56.5, which is a good... Well, hang on, he was a second and a, a, one over a second quicker than our leaders on that last lap. Um, I mean, they were fighting, but what, still. Uh, he's, he's, he's got his hair clip out, pulled his hair back, gone on with the he's job. Got, yeah, he's got aerodynamic haircut involved here. Yes, uh, Henry Gregory, the Vismo International uh, cart, the PF plate there. holder, is doing a good job. He is there in uh, sex. He's been he's been in the top six, seven uh, throughout Cart Masters week. <laughs> we're uh, harmonising, apparently, Henry. Oh, oh, we'll continue we that going onwards. Uh, of course, I'm the baritone in this, this, this duet. And I'm from Barry. So I'm the Barry Tone. <laughs> hey. yeah. Right, right. go Let's, karting. Yes, go karting. Right, I'm going to keep half an eye, oh, Gus half an eye uh, on on Gus Lawrence, who's at the back of this battle, currently sitting in eleventh yeah. place, up twenty. That would be. I mean, even if he only finishes eleventh, that would be a brilliant oh, try. Gregory and Oliver oh, still. No. Oh, oh no! That's oh, gone no. wrong. One more place for Gus Lawrence. Two and more places for Gus Lawrence. And 85 of Oscar Rapetto in that uh, sort of blue and yellow race suit. Then you've got Lawrence the around the outside. Gets it done on uh, Nettle Ship. And Cottrell's right there yeah, as well. Yeah, those two TB carts looking rather smart. The Privateer TB cart of, of number 101, Jack Nettle Ship. And the S8 racing cart of Harry Cottrell. Yeah, Lawrence had to back off. He's being very smart, is Lawrence. He's picking his manoeuvres. He's going to have another position or maybe two here on the exit of this game pass. Both Rapetto tries to get past Lucio. Oh, that's, yeah, that was close. Mm, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, Gus Lawrence, where are we up to now? It's the order. Uh, Eden Spans is not leading the race. He is uh, actually, uh, I think he is, he's, in, he's, he's 35 cars still running. Mean where Eden Spans is. Uh, still Green, Geraghty, McQueen, Platt, and your top five. Yes. 2.2 uh, seconds separates said top five. Then it's Stilp, Cottrell, Lucio, Lawrence, and Nettleship. Lead Lead battle it is now. Keir Garrity pushing Fred Green to the front of the field. And, and look who's there. It's now a four way, uh, let's call it a scrap. It's a scrap. Uh, it's, it's McQueen, McQueen three McQueen, wide. Yeah, to the oh, inside. this could end in tears for oh. Garrity. No, he's managed to hold it off. And well done, Kayla McQueen. Yeah, and uh, Stilp just, uh, just a little nudge on the back of Garrity's cart. Uh, unsettled Garrity and allowed Stilp on the way through. Right. Fred Green has had electric pace at different times of this weekend. This is interesting to see how the pace is ebbing and flowing at different stages of the race. We've still got six minutes to go. Oh, uh -oh. oh dear. Uh, that is the 31 and the 88. The 31 is Joel Hull, Hull and, and the 88, 88 is Tristan Powell. They're both okay, but the carts are stopped. Yes, and right. Uh, Stilp. Third. 
McQueen to the lead. What a move, Caden McQueen. He's only off He's the pointing. bridge, off the bridge. <laughs> Two of the best moves this week in one race by the same driver. Caden McQueen really, really wants to win this race. I mean, that goes without saying, but he came close in senior Rotax, couldn't quite do it because he was held up by a different driver in that one. Yes. He doesn't want to be held up by anyone in this one. He wants to control this race from the front. He knows he has the pace. He had the pace in Rotax. Positioned, positioning didn't help him out, and that is Gus Lawrence, our number one, in sixth place, up 24 places, only three seconds away from the lead, and the way it's going at the front, he could well he could be in with a shout. This. Uh, uh, Five minutes to go. Still, Henry, there's still six or there probably six or seven racing laps to go. That's a lot of go-karting the left. Junior expert. Oh, oh my goodness me! Still to the inside. Naughty switchback. Oh, and a double. And a, a double naughty. Naughty oh, naughty. Gabriel that was, Kev. All, that Sorry, was almost naughty naughty. Very naughty. Yeah, it's Gabriel. We know if you go in there too late, you come a cropper because that man there was the result of that earlier on this weekend. But let's look at the lap times. Last lap around. Our fastest driver on circuit was. Uh, he, it was for, oh, Gus Lawrence. Uh, we're three, no, we're three going... wide. We're three wide. Lawrence is on his way. Lawrence at the freight train, uh, heading towards the front. McQueen, Hair Force One, Stelp, Where's Garrity. Platt? Where's Platt come from? Uh, he, uh, th there was what, three wide coming out of the second hairpin, and. Uh, you, you quite literally take your eyes off this for 10 seconds and the whole order changes. on his way, and I tell you what, uh, Marcus Luzio in seventh, ahead of Oliver Stilp, Harry Cottrell, Koo Hyo Lee, then Nettleship, uh, followed by Ella Stevens, the KZ2 gearbox cart. Oh, 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 McQueen Platt. backing it up. He yes. knows that, that Platten's right there. He doesn't want to get done on the exit. Slightly defensive line off the bridge as well. McQueen will defend um, down into the first hairpin. Henry. Newsflash, Gus Lawrence has caught the lead pack from 31st on the grid inside 11 laps. What an absolute legend. And he's already passed Fred Green. He's <laughs> into fifth. <laughs> They're all on new tyres. This is what new no, tyres in the final gives you. No asterisk on uh, Gus Lawrence's drive here. Tyres exactly the same aid as everyone else, just pure driving skill, bringing so, him from the back to the front. Brandon Carr won this race in junior X, 32nd on the grid. He won it from the 16th row of the grid. He had two new tyres no, on, wrong, one new tyre no, on. No, wrong. I spoke to, uh, spoke to uh, oh, Brandon oh. Carr about this, and he said he had one 30-lap old tyre on the left rear. Oh, OK, right. Well, Gus Lawrence has done from 31st, the 16th row of the grid. There's the current standings. Uh, they've all changed, though. They're out of date. Out, uh, out around the outside. Outside goes still on Platten and it gets the move done. That's very, very tasty. Lawrence has done this on exactly the same tyres as everybody else. Uh, I mean, not to take anything away from Brandon Carr, which remains, in my opinion, the best Kart Masters drive ever. That is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Yeah. So much wise. I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll say it now. If Gus Lawrence wins this, it will eclipse Brandon Carr as the greatest Kart Masters drive ever. I will absolutely back you up on that, Henry, because there is absolutely no asterisk here, but it's going to be hard because Marcus Lizio has made his way through because this has gone from a five-cart fight for the uh, lead to... Right. Oh, oh, so oh, the front nose cone has oh, fallen off. and that is... It's a croc, and it's Oliver Stilps. Oh, uh, how that, has that happened? Uh, well, well, um... It's, it, it's like that Australian comedy with the front fell off. Yeah, he, it did. He's going to have to pit because he, can't, he will not be classified. He knows it already. He's bowing his head. But let's concentrate on this battle for the lead. Will McQueen block the inside again? Yes, yes. he does. Will he stop it at the apex? Yes, he does. No, he's hard. He can't platten it. No, sorry. I thought Platten was having a little sneaky look. Right, we know Gabriel Stilp's not shy of an outside move. Lawrence, Lawrence back through on Lucio. Lawrence wants to push forward. I think he's right to do so. A quick touch of the car from Kian Garrett, who's just kind of staying out of trouble at this stage of the race. Garrity in the yellow cart. Um, Gus Lawrence will be competing in the World Karting Championship uh, in a month's time. Now, I think that everybody that we're competing at should be watching this race. They won't know much about Gus Lawrence and he'll be a rank outsider because of the equipment and what have you. However, a rank outsider won in 2017 in Danny Curl. I wonder, I wonder, Gus. Does lightning strike twice? We well, shall have to wait until September, but we've got a... I One minute and 33 seconds plus a lap of racing, so that means that we're going to get three more laps. I, I know that, well, Lightning does, has, uh, Caden McQueen, Lightning McQueen does a strike 
twice. Kate McQueen has with two weapon of a move. Uh, and he's now defending. Here comes Garrity. There goes Stilp. Oh, Stilp and McQueen. Oh, Stilp hangs him out to dry. And Lawrence is fourth. There's one minute to go. Look at Keen it's Garrity at the Ger front of the field. He's just stayed out of trouble the whole race. That's all. I say all he's done. He's done very well at it. But Lawrence is third. Right. Lawrence passes Stilp for third. Garrity. The team that his dad Nigel set up at the start of the year leads the biggest one-off race in British karting with 50 seconds to go. Air Force One, Harry Pratt and the British Open champion for BMR restarts. A double car masters champion is second. And Gus Lawrence, the reigning, and my goodness, he is defending this title, is third. Two laps remain. This is the penultimate lap as there's 30 seconds over the line. These two, I'm going to... Hasten a bet that these two will catch Geraghty. They are, Gar Gus Lawrence is almost certainly the fastest car on circuit. Platten will know that it's Gus Lawrence and Gus Lawrence wants to win. He will not defend. These are two very experienced drivers. They both want to win. They don't care about second place. Look, see, no defensive driving. Lawrence Aww. is faster. He goes up the inside. That is not to take second place. That is tactical. Lawrence <laughs> thinks he is faster. Yeah, can, look, can it, Platten does not Can you imagine the adrenaline? Can you imagine the adrenaline Henry, that is coursing through Gus Lawrence right now? Henry, we don't, got you don't have to imagine. I've got genuine goosebumps right now. This is going to be an absolutely crazy finish. I'm hoping that Gus Lawrence will catch, not because I want him to win, just because I want a ding-dong battle on the final lap for the lead. Let's keep an eye. Garrity, half a second. That is going to be tough for Lawrence to break down. And don't forget, Garrity's one of the young guns. Garrity, I think, first, sec first year senior, second year senior, not an experienced driver in terms of what he's up against. He's got to hold his nerve, Kian. It got taken away from you in the British Championship last weekend. Now, he's what have you learned? He's going to have to defend. He's going to have to defend. Two looks over the shoulder. Lawrence. For Paul Fletcher International Racing, he is there. He is there. Half a lap to go. Defensive goes Geraghty into the second half, and that's going to give him a poor exit. Does Lawrence look? No, Lawrence is not close enough. The last real overtaking opportunity is Bobby Game. Geraghty, I think, has this sewn up. Gus is going to push on, pushing hard into the final sector. Small wobble from Geraghty. The last overtaking opportunity. Mike Wilson. No, can't get it done. Geraghty. You have done absolutely brilliantly to put yourself in the right position over the line. This privateer, Kean Geraghty wins and Gus Lawrence goes up 29 places to second. What an absolutely outstanding drive from Gus Lawrence, Harry Platten, third place. Wow, wow, wow. Gus Lawrence, again, we've had so many unbelievable drives today for second place. That one, I think, is the best of them. Kean Garrity has come of age. He has learnt from his mistakes and he held his nerve. Can you imagine looking over your shoulder, which he did twice, and seeing the driver that started 31st bearing down on you and the driver that won this event twice sitting just behind him? And then you've got to compose yourself. You've got to compose and you've got to not bottle it and my goodness Kian Garrity did not bottle it and he is a deserving worthy winner my goodness me and there drive still that's one of the best drives I've ever seen yeah from, from, from Gus Lawrence if Gus Lawrence had won that race that would have undoubtedly gone down as one oh. of if not the best Kart Masters drive in history. It still remains one of the best Kart Masters drives in history. Absolutely no asterisk. Everyone on the same age type. Yes. Good to see the camaraderie of the dr of the drivers around Geraghty. That was Louis Johnson cool. Uh, Kian um, used to drive for the premium karting team. It was what a formerly a teammate of uh, Louis Johnson cool. Let's just also touch on uh, a driver that made his way swiftly back to the pits. Again, the inverse correlation between happiness and speed back to the pits. Uh, Kayla McQueen led and controlled much of that oh. race. A bold, brash move from from Gabriel Stilp on the inside on the bridge, pushed K Kayla McQueen wide, and that was his second opportunity at Kart Masters today. Victory going south. Unfortunately for Kayla McQueen, again, just not right place, right time. Kart Masters sometimes decides who wins, and today it decided that Kean Geraghty was the one.
Do, is, he's a privateer. He's down as a privateer on uh, the entry list. Uh, that's the only asterisk. Is he, uh, he, is he really a privateer? It's a small team. It's a small team. With his uh, own name. It, it, yeah. I, I How many other... Is it, are there any other drivers running under Geraghty Racing this weekend? Not this weekend. There therefore, were last weekend. There were, I, I, therefore, I, I think he can count himself as a privateer. Well, mm. I would say he wins privateer from that way. For me, I don't know whether that's official, but for me, he's a privateer. Do you Let's know what? Have Regardless, it's a fantastic drive. Absolutely. Uh, Henry, I'll run you through the yes. top ten. Kean Geraghty, it was, took the win from Gus Rowan's just Harry Platten in third place. Gabriel still fourth. Marcus Luzio, a good drive to hold on to fifth place. Caden McQueen will be disappointed with sixth. Lewis Byrne had a good recovery drive from seventh after going wide on the first lap. Fred Green down to eighth. Louis Johnson Paul, a good drive, actually up 15 places to ninth. A good drive from him. And tenth was Jack Nettleship. Yes, uh, Harry Cottrell, Careers Kujong Lee, Ella Stevens, and Luke Taylor are the remaining at top 14 for this Henry Gregory had a penalty as his worst finishes of the, of the week Morgan Hill at 16th Ryland Eschberg started just behind Gus Lawrence as a true privateer it's just Ryland and his dad in an easier boarding that's a heck of a drive 17th Aaron Brown McCauley Bishop Christopher Bingham Alison Cresswell uh, you could see the rest of the running order uh, low retirement rates we had uh, Oscar Rapetto sadly retired, so did Jack Cox, Oliver Silk, Charlie Morris and Jones. But uh, I think it's safe to say that we saved the best for last. And uh, Nicole Sutherland has one more GP plate to hand out, which she will be doing in a little bit. And Kean Garrity just composing himself. God. What when he a turns race. round, he sees, who did I beat? Oh, I beat the British champion and the British Open champion. And um, two-time, don't forget, two-time winner in this class as well. That is, yeah, three out of the last four, you know, the last, you know, three out of the last four winners, well, the last three years, sorry, are there. Wow, wow, well done, wow, well wow, well done. Wow. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant race, brilliant drive from Garrity. I said it with a few laps to go, he's just put himself in a good position, stayed out of trouble. And then when the trouble kicked off, he was there to pick up the pieces and claim the GP plate. What a brilliant drive. Wow, well, why don't we head down and hear some of the reaction from the top three drivers with Nicole Sutherland. Nicole, over to you. There they are then, your one, two and three for the final race of Cartmasters 2024. King Geraghty, you're our champion of Senior X30. How much does this mean to you? Uh, yeah, it means loads. Um... I always thought I had a good chance, but you never know with Cart Masters. But yeah, managed to just be sensible at the start. I was saying about third and fourth, and then when I got the chance, go for the lead and just kind of manage the gap at the end. And I'm going to give this yellow GP plate to you. Um, how proud are you to be sporting this for the rest of the year until Cart Masters 2025? Yeah, very it's a special plate to win, probably the best one really. So yeah, it's brilliant. And you can take that from me then, Kian. Who have you got to thank for this week? Um, Jamie Tyler, the mechanic, my dad, my mum, everyone who's came to support me, um, Litchfield Engines and then Strawberry for the help throughout the week, really. Congratulations, Kian. We'll see you on the podium. Thank you. We'll head back then and speak to Gus Lawrence, the PFI-supported driver. Number two for this Cart Masters. Gus, how are you feeling? Yeah, that was a, a good race. I can't fault it, really. Starting 31st. I think I had quite a good start and then it unfolded nicely in the middle of the race and then um, I just had to catch him up towards the end and yeah, I, I can't force it. And I think next up for you I'd be right in saying FIA World Finals here at PFI? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be attending that. See how we get on, it's be something different so uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, maybe a P1 there instead of the Cup Masters P2? Uh, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. We'll go over then to Harry Platten, who's finished his Cart Masters this week in third. Harry, of course, has returned from a little break. I spoke to you earlier. You said you might come out of retirement if you got the win in. Is it the same case for a three? Have you got the bug back? Um, I mean, the race was carnage, which we sort of expected. Just unlucky, Kean got a good gap, but he, gro he drove a very good race. So, But to be where we are stood right now after where we started on Thursday. I'm really proud of the whole team and myself. And who else have you got to thank for your number three this weekend? I mean, the mechanic, Harry, the whole team, um, and every, all of my family over there supporting me. 
and my mum, crazy mum. <laughs> there she is, uh, over there. Very proud indeed. Thank you. So, out of retirement, yeah or no? I'll probably end up making my mind up next year. <laughs> Thanks, Harry, and congratulations. See you on the podium. Thank you.